Chapter 001 The start is a god San Francisco. Dane trudged onto the subway home. He carefully avoided the urine stains in the corner and complained about the quality of the beautiful people again in his heart. After finding a clean place, Dane slumped on it and didn't want to get up. In order to adapt to the national conditions of the beautiful country, he applied to join the school football team shortly after enrolling. He heard that this school attaches great importance to the rugby league. If they can lead the team to the school league championship, they can get a large scholarship. This money is very important to an orphan like him who has no father or mother. Fortunately, after being reincarnated as a white man, he lacked money, love, father and mother, but strength and physical fitness. The coach decided to accept him just by looking at his height and body shape. He guessed that no matter how hard he tried recently, he might not be able to compete for the quarterback position. Thinking about it, Dane's eyelids began to fight. He trained so late every day, and his physical strength was exhausted. But he quickly pulled himself together. This place is not safe. He has to be wary of being touched. But when he looked around, he suddenly felt something was wrong. Well, why is there no one? Dane grabbed his school bag tightly and walked into other cars, only to find that all the cars were empty. It's only less than eight o'clock. It's impossible. In such doubts, Dane suddenly found something wrong with the scenery outside the car window. Wisps of light flashed past his eyes and finally even passed through the car window and past his nose. What the hell? Dane took a step back in shock, but he was not as fast as the light and saw the light go directly through his body and out from behind. What the hell? The speed of the subway suddenly began to accelerate, and the light outside the window quickly merged into one piece, which made his eyes hurt. Dane looked up and found a line of incomprehensible cuneiform script on the doorframe, and the windows were covered with snowflakes. For a moment, Dane felt that this thing looked familiar, but before he could figure out where he had seen it, then, he found that the car came to a sudden stop, huge amounts of inertia threw him flying, and he fell into a mess. Fortunately, he was physically strong, and he recovered in a short time, when the car door opened. Dane got up from the ground and walked out of the car door carefully. Advertisement ad. He found that there was not any known station in front of him, but a deep-looking rocky path that seemed to be formed naturally. The sense of sight is getting heavier and heavier. Dane looked left and right, and there was no other way for him to go in front of him except this one, so he could only know the current affairs. When he walked to the end, he saw a man, an old man in a red robe with messy hair and dark skin. Others are numb. No, big brother, I have lived here for more than ten years, and now that I have just started to rush, you told me that this world is so dangerous. Dane Davis, Dane remained expressionless, subconsciously replied, I'm here. You shall inherit my ability and become the newest guardian of the Rock of Eternity. Here, grab this scepter and call my name, Shazam. Wait a minute, isn't this process over yet? Dane didn't feel right. Didn't he have to test it before giving ability? Like a pure heart or something. He glanced behind the old man. The statue of the seven deadly sins is still there, so the bald villain Dr. Savannah hasn't come yet. Shouldn't this test the young man? Dane has always believed that there is no such thing as a pie in the sky, especially the power of Shazam. This thing is essentially a power based on contract magic. Contracts are too easy to manipulate. If you don't believe me, ask Ghost Rider on the set next door. Jebediah Necromancer looked at the young face in front of him, feeling a little helpful. S. Dane Davis, what are you still hesitation? Mr. Necromancer, before I inherit your power, why don't you come to a test or something? Dane tentatively asked. The necromancer was silent for a moment and then muttered in a low voice. No matter which world you are in, why are you so difficult to deal with? What did you say? Jebediah suddenly stopped the scepter and Dane stuck his right hand to the scepter uncontrollably. He tried to pull back, but he couldn't pull it away. No, are you going to force yourself? Dane was dumbfounded. The necromancer snorted softly. Dane, I know what you are doubting, but please believe me, I know more about you than yourself. Now read it to me, Shazam, advertisement ad. Well, it looks like the heir has to be himself, and Dane can only do as he pleases. Shazam, 
a thunderbolt fell from the sky, hitting Dane directly. His whole body was shaken, an electric shock-like itch spread all over his body, and then a surge of power flooded every cell in his body. The already tall body was raised again, and it didn't stop until it grew to a full six feet five inches, about 196. The jacket on his body turned into a red tights, and he wore golden artifacts on his wrists and waist, and the boots under his feet were also replaced with gold castings. Fortunately, he didn't hurt his feet when he stepped on them. The most conspicuous thing is the lightning on the chest. Dane quickly looked down, but luckily it wasn't the LED light in the movie, but it was similar to the one on Black Adam's chest. In the movie, he has long been unhappy watching that, like a fake. That's right, so you have the power of the gods. The wisdom of Solomon, S, the strength of Hercules, H, the stamina of Atlas, A, the power of Zeus, Z, the courage of Achilles, A, and the speed of Mercury, M. From now on, you must shoulder the responsibility that Shazam should shoulder. The Rock of Eternity is the holy land of all magic, and you must not lose it. I leave it to you here. Remember, the power of magic comes from within. After speaking, the necromancer's face suddenly shattered and scattered like sand, turning into a pile of scum in the blink of an eye. Ah, this! Don't you necromancer councils never give induction training to newcomers? Go straight to work? Dane had a question mark on his head. This handshake was too clean, so how many years are necromancers still left? Don't you still have a role in Shazam too? Dane, Dane, come here! At the moment, Dane, who was alone, suddenly heard the sound of broken thoughts around him. He turned his head to look, and saw the eyes of the seven dead species glowing dim red. Obviously they were talking. The Seven Deadly Sins That's right, it's us, come on, tell us your desires, we can help you realize them. Whether it's money, still beautiful, or power, advertisement, ad, even power. As long as you ask, we will respond, accept us. Not even the gods can restrain their desires. Don't be shy, kid. Tell me what you want. Tell me what you want. Dane lowered his head, arcs of lightning danced in his eyes, and the divine power of Zeus formed fiery thunder around him. Wait, what are you doing? Dane raised his head and smiled. He raised his fingertips, and a bolt of lightning struck the blue magic pupil in the center of the stone statue with a boom. Ah! No! Stop! Damn bastard! Ah! This magic pupil emitting blue light is the one that the bald villain puts in his right eye in the movie. It is the medium through which the seven deadly sins lodge and the body that connects their spirit bodies. At the moment, when the magic pupils were bombarded by divine power, it was like an electric shock on them, making them miserable. After punishing the seven deadly sins, Dane feels refreshed. I am such a promising new god, what do you want seven crooked melons to do? Shazam possesses the body, power, weapon, and knowledge of the gods, so there is no problem saying that he is the god of the Greek gods. In the time period when the old gods are hidden and Wonder Woman is out, there is nothing wrong with Dane saying that he is the only god. How could it be possible to get involved in such stinky shit as the seven deadly sins? Besides, now the entire rock of eternity is mine. I want to do something to you broken stone statues. Can you still resist? Dane opened his palm, and the necromancer's scepter automatically flew to his palm. After the necromancer disappeared, the ownership of the scepter automatically transferred to him. The moment Dane got the scepter, it was equivalent to getting the ownership of the Rock of Eternity at the same time. The first thing he will do next is to change the door lock code here. In the future, no one can come in unless he gives his permission. Big bald head! You shit! Chapter 002 not yet Superman's Clark Kent Dane first removes the magic that was originally attached to the cuneiform by the necromancer. It is because of this summoning magic that even Savannah, an ordinary person, can reach the Rock of Eternity through a spell written in chalk. This is what Dane's Wisdom of Solomon told him. Then, he directly closed all the magical entrances to the Rock of Eternity in the real world, setting himself as the only person who can freely enter and exit this place. He definitely still remembered that besides himself, there was another person who could enter this place through magic, and that was Black Adam. Now that he knew this loophole, he had to make up for it decisively. He used his authority to block Black Adam directly. He thought about it, 
and added the patch that allowed him to enter this place when he was a human, then the second thing he has to do is to add insurance to the word Shazam. What kind of stupid idea is it to undo the transformation just by shouting? Does it count if I accidentally yell? What should I do if I get a homonym? No matter how careful I am, I might be caught by Wonder Woman's mantra. The Shazam family in the animated movie Flashpoint Paradox is dead, and Dane can't help it. Starting today, the spell Shazam will only work if Dane wishes to transform out of free will and sincerity. And there is no need to shout anymore. Just recite silently in your heart. Billy Batson, have you learned yet? The wisdom of Solomon must be used in this way. From now on, the Rock of Eternity will be his own home, and he doesn't need to buy any house in the beautiful country. He will live here from now on. After transforming into Shazam, he doesn't need to eat, drink, go to the bathroom, or even sleep. The body of God guarantees that he will always be full of energy. With such an ability, is it necessary for him to continue to go to school? Dane thought about it carefully and felt that it is not necessary to study, but the study still has to continue. If the power of Shazam is gone, he will not be unable to move an inch in human society. The power of Shazam is not his own power after all. If the gods can lend him their power, they will naturally have a way to take it back. Dane remembers this plot in the comics. He is not sure which world he is in now, but he is used to thinking of the worst in everything. And even in the movie world, Shazam 2 clearly shows that the necromancer's scepter is an artifact that can steal divine power. You have to be vigilant. The scepter cannot be destroyed. Otherwise, it will trigger the event of Shazam 2, causing the sealed goddess to escape. It can't fall into the hands of other people. Otherwise, it will pose a threat to yourself. But it can be used as a killer. Advertisement ad. Dane feels very strange. The necromancer has the scepter in his hand. It is said that Black Adam, if he just took his divine power, it would be over. Why bother to seal him? Let's save this matter for later. There is still a long time before Black Adam undoes the seal, which is enough for him to prepare. Now he wants to see what Superman is like first. Coming to DC without going to see Superman, it feels like arriving at a scenic spot, but not checking in at an internet celebrity attraction. It's a shame. Just do it. Dane had a thought. The surrounding scenery changed instantly, and he returned to the subway station in San Francisco. At the moment, the subway is closed, and no one is there. Dane put on the white hood, rose from the ground with a boom, and flew into the sky. Unlike Billy Batson, he was pretty sure he could fly. So flight became a very simple matter, and he quickly adapted to his strength. During flight, he unintentionally activated Mercury's speed, and the surrounding scenery was stretched into a line in his eyes. His speed is so fast, but the air resistance he feels is not strong. This is the wonderful use of divine power. To a certain extent, it is contrary to the science that normal people understand. Dane kept going up until he was out of the atmosphere and saw a little bit of sunlight in the silhouette of the edge of the earth. The divine body does not need to breathe, and he can move normally without any influence. Dane closed his eyes and used Solomon's wisdom to find the tracing spell from King Solomon's many magics. He calls out Superman's name. Clark Kent, adopted son of Jonathan Kent. Kal-El, son of Jor-El, last son of Krypton. With such clear information, magic guided him exactly in Clark's direction. Got you. Dane whispered and flew towards the ocean. Offshore drilling platforms are now burning with raging fire. The bearded Clark jumped into the sea from the fishing boat and swam towards the platform with terrifying speed. He searched for survivors with super hearing and finally found the last few survivors in a sealed cabin. Everyone present was shocked when they saw the man with flames on his body. Clark took them to the tarmac, and when he sent everyone to the helicopter, he found that the oil rig began to collapse. In order to ensure that the rest of the people could leave safely, he decided to stay. Advertisement. In the shocked eyes of the search and rescue team members, they saw the man with his bare upper body supporting the thousands of tons of platform with his hands, buying time for them to leave. Jesus. The potential of the future Superman. At the moment has not been fully stimulated. Within a few minutes, the support under the platform deformed, and thousands of tons of steel bent his waist like a mountain. 
Ah! Clark struggled to hold himself up, but the tarmac beneath him gave up. At the moment, there was an abnormal sound in the sky, which was the sonic boom after the speed broke through the sound barrier. Clark heard it, he looked up, and supervision allowed him to see the thing. It was a red figure, wearing a white cloak, and he was flying. Dane saw the scene and helped Clark support the steel bracket with both hands. You look like you need help? He smiled at Clark. The power of Hercules endowed him with the same strength as Superman, pushing the steel creation weighing thousands of tons directly up. My God, another one. The search and rescue team and survivors on the Moklines. At the moment helicopter felt that today was an eye-opener. Clark was agitated, which Dane could understand, remembering that the purpose of Superman foreign, at the moment's travels was to find someone like him. You, this is not a place to talk. Let's leave first. Good. But he looked at Dane in midair, and then at himself, a little embarrassed. Oh, by the way, Superman from Mob, at the moment, hasn't learned flight yet. He had to wait until he found the Kryptonian's ancient spaceship and drank a bowl of chicken soup for the soul from his father, Jor-El. Dane smiled and held out his hand to Clark, who held it sheepishly, and they shot into the sky at the speed of sound. Before leaving, Dane glanced back at the ocean, and he felt someone watching them from the depths of the ocean. Clark looked at the surrounding scenery and was amazed. He had never been to such a high place, and he had reached such a height in his physical body. When he reached the stratosphere, Clark began to breathe a little less smoothly, and he couldn't help asking, Where are we going? Go to my house. At Ah? Clark looked up and wondered, your family lives in space? But soon, Clark felt that some barrier had been broken, and the scene changed, and he suddenly came to a place surrounded by rocks. Where is this place? Welcome to the Rock of Eternity. Clark looked at this place in amazement. There was a high platform at the end of the seven stone statues of various shapes, and seven huge amounts of stone chairs were arranged in an arched shape on the platform. Just find a place to sit, I just took over here not long ago, so I don't know many places. Don't run around, it's easy to fall into other worlds. Dane knows that there are many doors connecting other other worlds here, so he reminds him. He disappeared as if moving in an instant, and when Clark was confused, he suddenly appeared again, but with an extra set of clothes and two cups of coffee in his hands. Put it on. Dane handed him the clothes, which had been destroyed in the fire. Clark took the clothes, and he changed quickly, almost in the blink of an eye. Dane handed him the coffee in his hand, which he bought while picking up his clothes. Don't ask, just ask super speed. You, are you the same as me? Clark drank a little, and then asked hesitantly. It depends on how you define it. If you are compared with ordinary people, you and I are the same and belong to the Superman category, but this is only a broad term. In a narrow sense, there is still a difference between you and me, Clark. You are not from Earth, are you? Dane chooses the straight ball. Clark was taken aback, but he didn't react badly. The person in front of him didn't look like a bad guy. This is due to Dane's excellent appearance, which looks sunny and positive, which is much better than Billy Batson's funny appearance after transformation. Clark nodded, acquiescing. Dane, at the moment, sat up straight. Let me introduce myself. My real name is Dane. My surname cannot be disclosed. You can call me Shazam in front of outsiders. My identity, from the perspective of human definition, can be regarded as a half-god. 003, compete? God? Clark was surprised. Dane nodded. He didn't explain more. It's best to avoid shallow words when you just make friends, even though Da Chow is really a good person usually. I've been following you for a while, Clark Kent. This is definitely to fool him. Even Dane himself just found out that this is the DC world. How could he pay attention to him in advance? But who made Dachau simple? He really believed it when the information was not equal. Then do you know where I come from? He originally only asked this question with one out of 10,000 hopes and didn't expect much, but who knows that Dane nodded. The planet you were born on is called Krypton, a celestial body located in the southern constellation Corvus, about 27.1 light-years away from Earth. The planet once orbited a red dwarf star called RAO. This red dwarf star can be observed by the Earth's astronomical telescope. Its number is LHS 2520. If you are interested, 
you can look for it. Clark was so excited that he even wanted to see his hometown right away, but he quickly suppressed his excitement, expecting more from Dane. But what Dane said next dragged him from heaven to hell. Clark, I regret to tell you that your home planet Krypton has been destroyed. It died of resource depletion, and now you can only see the shadow of it 27 years ago. Clark's mood fell instantly, but he actually had a vague premonition of this. After all, if he hadn't encountered such a big disaster, how could he have been sent to the Earth in a baby state? Dane patted Clark on the shoulder lightly to show comfort. The reason why he said so much was to get closer. What's more, even if he didn't say this information, Clark would know it when he found the spaceship frozen near the Arctic Circle. The reason why I tell you this is because I can't bear to see you wandering around, but it's always in vain. Go home and have a look. Martha has always missed you. Dane's words reminded Clark of his mother, who was alone at home, and he felt guilty for it. Also, cherish the present time. I am afraid that such peaceful days will be rare in the future. Um, advertisement. Ad. Clark suddenly raised his head. What does this mean? Dane continued to fool around. I have a kind of magic that can roughly predict certain fragments of the future. Clark, I have to say, things are not looking good for the future. Clark became nervous. Although he is an alien by blood, he already regards himself as a human from the bottom of his heart. How could he not be worried when he heard such news at the moment? And Dane didn't make alarmist remarks, he just said that Zod's invasion of the Earth was an inescapable disaster. The Flash has already proved in his solo movie that General Zod is almost invincible without the superpower. Not to mention Doomsday, Steppenwolf, and Darkseid later, they are lining up to come to the Earth to catch the set. So when I found you this time, it can be regarded as giving you an inoculation in advance, letting you know what you may encounter in the future. So the first question we have to face is my people? Clark's face was a little ugly. He didn't expect to face such a problem. He neither wants to fight with his own people, nor does he want the Earth to be robbed because of this. Yes, although I don't know when Zod will come, but he can't give up the Earth because he wants to restore Krypton. And he's coming for you. Dane pointed to his chest. In Man of Steel, Superman activated the scientific research spacecraft at the North Pole, and Zod also received the signal sent by the ship, so he came to Earth. But in the Flash solo movie, Superman was captured by Zod unknowingly before he even had time to grow up, revealing that he may have other ways of obtaining Earth's location. So from the worst point of view, even if nothing is done, there is a great possibility that Zod will invade the Earth, because he is looking for the Codex all over the universe, and he will soon realize the connection between the Codex and Kal-El. After all, he was watching Carl's lifeboat take off. Hearing that it was his own fault that caused the Earth to suffer this disaster, Clark looked remorseful. Dane knew that this was an inevitable disaster for the Earth, so he didn't blame Clark. With this time, you should think about how to better solve this problem. While he knows some of the storyline, it was before the Flash created the Flashpoint Paradox. If Barry had already begun to change history, then the present space-time continuum would have been destroyed. Time and space are intertwined with each other, and there will be countless possibilities. No one can guarantee that Superman can still handle Zod's group alone this time, which is still a group of Kryptonians. While Zod's world dominance is fine with Dane, he doesn't like the general's style. Advertisement ad, so it's playing Zod's copy that he definitely has to be actively involved in. Don't think so much now, it will take some time before Zod arrives on Earth. You can use this time to strengthen your ability. Clark looked at him, then at himself, scratching his head. How can his ability be strengthened? The Earth is already very fragile to him now. Dane stood up and patted the non-existent ashes on his body. Before that, let's take a look at how strong you are. Don't you mind competing? Discussion? Clark looked surprised. Yes, I think you have been careful for so many years for fear of accidentally destroying this paper world. This should feel very uncomfortable. He pointed to himself again. Just right. I haven't shot with all my strength since I became a god. I think I should be qualified to be your opponent. At the moment, 
he wanted to know which niche his strength was in DC. Shazam's strength is as erratic as other superheroes. When he is a superhero, he matches Dachau's strength. He and Dachau are positioned as the two unsolvable forces of magic and reality. But when he was a super ghost, Shazam actually fought back and forth with third-rate villains, although there are also reasons why Billy Batson himself is immature. But it also shows that Shazam originally's combat power is not stable. Clark listened to Dane's proposal, thought about it carefully, and agreed. In fact, he has always been curious about where his limit is. Are we going to fight here? He looked at the Rock of Eternity, and it didn't feel very suitable here. He was afraid that if he let go of his hands and feet a little, the place would collapse. Come with me. Dane greeted him, walked through the long corridor and came to the secret room with countless doors suspended. He randomly selected a door and walked in, and Clark followed after seeing it. Through the door, the two came to an empty valley. Clark was amazed. He looked back at the door, and there were two worlds inside and outside the door. So that's the meaning of your reminder just now. He couldn't help but exclaim, Not bad. I plan to set up portals in various natural scenic spots in the world, and I can live wherever I want in the future. Dane felt the surroundings carefully, and was relieved only after making sure that there were no human beings here. Then shall we begin? When Dane said this, he felt his blood boil. Advertisement. This is Achilles' courage, at work. Always maintain a strong fighting spirit and an optimistic attitude towards the battle. Huh? Is the compatibility between him and Shazam's power so good? I am coming. Hearing Clark's reminder, he rushed over at super-fast speed. Dane didn't bully him with air superiority, but also landed on the ground to fight him fairly. Both of them have super speed, and also have super speed thinking and super reflexes. Dane can clearly see the trajectory of Clark's fist, even if this fist is supersonic. Dane raised his right fist, the power of Hercules, endowed him with strength strong enough to rival Superman, and the courage of Achilles endowed him with an indestructible body of steel. The two fists collide, and the shockwave spreads in all directions, destroying everything in its path. Clark couldn't bear the strength and flew out. Clark, don't hold back. I am a god. I will not die. At least not now. Clark also discovered this after the temptation just now, and he finally no longer restrained himself. I saw his eyes glowing red, its thermal vision. Dane knew him better than himself, but he deliberately tested his ability, so he didn't avoid it. He gathers the divine power of his whole body, the lightning of Zeus, that is the divine thunder that can directly blast away the unity of the mother box. Influenced by Dane's strong will, Zeus's divine power also gave a powerful response. Thunder and lightning enveloped his whole body like a battle suit, and Dane's eyes glowed with blazing white lightning. At the same time that Clark released red rays, Dane's hands also released blazing white lightning. The two energies collided in the air, causing huge amounts of explosions, scorching the earth with high heat, and shockwave tore the clouds. Dane and Clark flew upside down at the same time, and stopped at the same time. Dane's feet plowed two deep furrows in the ground. He looked up and saw that the clothes Clark had just changed were all tattered again in a blink of an eye. Come again? Clark was full of fighting spirit. Okay. The two faced each other and stretched out their fists again. The valley is broken and the river is flowing backwards. Chapter 004 On the Magic Resistance of the Kryptonians Clark flew backwards and the Man of Steel shattered the distant hill, passing the other way. He was in midair, head down, but his good eyesight quickly saw Dane rushing from a distance. Watching Dane's fist approach, he has no foothold and can't move at all. At this moment, he felt anxious, and his body stopped the downward trend in midair. This caused Dane's pre-calculated fist to miss. Oh! Dane fell back to the ground and looked up at Clark, who was suspended in midair. His body shook, and he also flew into the sky to be level with Clark. It looks like you have also learned to fly. In fact, the Superman of flying, at the moment already has the ability of flight, but he has never thought about it, and naturally, he has never used it. But seeing that Dane flight is so smooth and natural, he seemed to understand it all at once, and directly applied it in actual combat. Dane couldn't help but smile seeing him flying around excitedly. If you want to fly well, you have to practice more. 
let me help you. The fight is not over yet. After Dane finished speaking, he leaned over and rushed forward. I used to love the movie Man of Steel. Have you seen Space Punch? This is still learned from you. Taking advantage of the forward momentum of the flight, Dane punched Clark in the face, sending him flying again. But the rough-skinned and thick-skinned Kryptonian was not injured at all, at most it hurt a little, and he was resurrected immediately with full blood. Dane said with emotion, When Zod and his gang come, it is estimated that this battle will be difficult to fight. Clark adjusted his body, and he seemed to have grasped the knack, flying more and more easily, and he gave Dane a hard blow with the same fist. Boom! If a meteor hits the earth, Dane hits the earth, leaving a huge amounts of crater. Dane stood up from the center of the crater, shaking his head to shake the dizziness out of his head. At the moment, the wisdom of Solomon warned him. Advertisement ad. He retreated instinctively, and Clark's fist broke the sound barrier and slid across the tip of his nose. Oh, I didn't expect you to sneak attack too? Dane ignored the rush of air, and without thinking, he raised his leg and kicked Superman hard in the stomach. Huge amounts of kicked Clark's back and flew straight into the sky. The ground sank again, and Dane buried one foot in the ground, and he pulled it out forcefully. Looking up at Clark in the sky, he didn't seem to come back to his senses. How could Dane miss such a good opportunity? So he flew up quickly and punched Clark's chin with a rising dragon punch, adding strength to his height. Clark's high head suddenly lowered, his eyes were red, and heat vision rays were emitted from his pupils again. Dane didn't take it hard this time, he sideways and passed the ray. Immediately, he pointed with his left hand, and a bolt of lightning struck Clark instantly. After Clark was hit, he didn't care as much as he did when he was hit by a fist before. He went straight into rigidity, then fell headfirst and fell to the ground with a loud bang. Huh? Dane landed quickly and walked towards Clark. It hurt so much just now. Clark took Dane's hand and stood up again. Dane thought about it. It seems that Clark's resistance to magic lightning is not very strong. Shazam's lightning comes from Zeus's thunder and lightning power, which is a very high-level energy and is the foundation of the old gods, and Zeus is the king of gods. In the legend of DCEU, Zeus is not only the king of god, but also the creator of human beings. Therefore, the personality is extremely high, which is completely different from that of Marvel. Dachau's resistance to magic is actually not weak, but compared to his physical resistance, magic resistance is not satisfactory. But even so, his body cannot be harmed by ordinary magic power, but Zeus's lightning can injure him, which is equivalent to Shazam Havi, nang a trump card against the Kryptonians. But this is not enough. Zod is a group of Kryptonians. He must have more cards. Let's stop here for the sparring. In the end, the sparring between the two was suspended like this, and if the fight continued, it would be easy to get real fire. That would defeat the original intention. Advertisement E. He roughly figured out his current strength position, which was about the same level as Da Chao Gang when he came into contact with the Krypton survivors. His basic attributes were off the charts, but his means of dealing with the enemy were poor. He and Clark are not the same. Neither of them will give in to the other when they swing the bastard fist, but he should be slightly better in terms of energy release. Who made the Kryptonians weak? It's a pity that there is no kryptonite now. According to the development of DCEU, the substance kryptonite will not be produced on the Earth until Zod starts the world engine and starts to transform the Earth. He has no choice if he wants to collect it now, unless he can go to the kryptonite ruins, where there are endless kryptonites. But his magic has not reached the level of interstellar travel, which can only be imagined. Back at the Rock of Eternity, Dane found a new set of clothes for Clark. He didn't even know how to protect his clothes from a biological standpoint. Dane thought for a while and asked, Clark, when were you born? He only knows that Superman landed on Earth about eight years ago, but according to the technology of Kryptonians, it is estimated that it will only take a few months from Krypton to Earth. Clark shook his head. All I know is that Jonathan and Martha picked me up in October 1980. Dane nodded, so Clark was basically born around 1980, and now it is 2005, so he's only 25 years old. 
no wonder he is so immature. Dane felt like no matter how hard he tried, he could overwhelm him. You must know that it was already 2013 when Zod invaded the Earth. At that time, Superman was in his 30s when he first debuted, and his physical condition was basically at its peak. If it weren't for the serious lack of combat experience and the intention to keep fighting, a fighter like Ophila should be able to explode the hammer. In the movie, although Superman was beaten by the Kryptonian female warrior without a temper, there is one thing to say, not to mention the broken skin on his body, and even his hair is not messed up. Ophila probably also knew that her attack could not break the defense at all, so she would chatter with him in the battle, trying to defeat him psychologically. Do you want to see your father? I mean the dear one. Dane thought for a moment and asked. Clark froze for a moment, then looked at him suspiciously. You should have the key to the spaceship that brought you to Earth? Clark nodded, suddenly reacting. How do you know? Dane nodded his temple. That key will be an important tool for dealing with Zod in the future. Clark knew that he really believed the nonsense that Dane could predict the future. Dane felt guilty for a second and continued. That key is still a storage like a USB flash drive, which stores your father's digital consciousness. Advertisement ad. So with just the right socket, he can show up and talk to you. And it just so happens that I know there is a Kryptonian spacecraft hidden on Earth. Clark was silent for a while, then suddenly asked, Why are you helping me like this? Because I want you to be on Earth's side when Zod invades. Dane tells the truth. I don't know if I can do it. Clark. At the moment shows the confusion that a young man would normally have. He has not yet been able to resolutely choose the Earth and human beings like the big super in the movie. Dane understood, so he just patted Clark on the shoulder. I don't need to say much. I can understand. Anyway, there is still time. It's not a bad thing to see more and think about it. So do you want to go and see? Remember to bring the key. The spaceship needs a key to start. Definitely, but I left the key at home. I have to go back to get it first. By the way, or you can come to my house for a while. Being able to invite him like this shows that Clark really regards him as a friend now. Is this convenient? Definitely convenient. Martha is very hospitable. You will know it when you see it. Excuse me then, by the way, where do you live? Smallville, Kansas. Dane's magical power moved, and the environment around him, and Clark changed instantly. Clark could tell at a glance that this was his hometown of Kansas. He said with emotion, You know what? I'm suddenly envious of your ability, so I won't have to worry about it when I go home. When he hadn't learned how to fly, he would often rush to find no man's land in order to go home quickly. In this way, it was often photographed and became an urban legend. It's okay. Can't you fly now? That's not a problem anymore. Clark also smiled when he heard the words, That's true. The two chatted and laughed as they flew into the air, and there was no one nearby, so they definitely flew over directly. Chapter 005 How many steps are needed to form the Justice League? The Kents are a pair of very ordinary farmers in Kansas. Farmers like this, no matter how well they do, can only maintain a middle-class income level. Therefore, it is normal to take out loans to farm before the harvest. In the movie, after Martha lost her husband and son one after another, the farm's crops were reduced due to lack of labor. Later, because the income from the farm was not enough to repay the bank loan, it could only apply for bankruptcy protection. The farm eventually had to be repossessed by the bank to pay off the debt. Don't think that the highly mechanized agriculture in the beautiful country can make money easily. In fact, because of the high degree of mechanization, one person needs to take care of a lot of arable land. It's so big that Martha can't keep busy by herself, and the labor cost is expensive. The harvester needs to be rented, and she has to be in a hurry. When the price changes, she can't even afford to fill up the gas. In this way, if Martha can keep the farm, then she must have Kryptonian blood. But now that Clark is still there, their family's farm work is not a problem at all, and it can be done for you in the blink of an eye, so Martha still lives quite comfortably. It makes her look like she's doing fine. Hello, Mrs. Kent. My name is Dane, and I'm Clark's friend. It's the first time I come to the door, so it's not a respect. After speaking politely, 
Dane handed over a bottle of red wine with both hands. The brand is not bad, the price is neither high nor low, and it is suitable for door-to-door -door gifts. He has now changed into a red tights. Very simple. A little dressing magic will do. Originally, Clark said he didn't need to give gifts, but Dane insisted on buying them. It is not surprising that there are many people who are polite, and this sentence is the same in the beautiful country. Martha, who already had a good impression of Dane because of his appearance, liked this young man even more after seeing the red wine. He was polite and measured. It doesn't need to be so formal. Just call me Martha. Come in quickly. Really, Clark, you should have reminded me earlier that I have guests coming, so I could be a little bit prepared. Martha pretended to complain, but he could tell he was happy that his son was able to bring his friends home. In her impression, Clark had very few friends, and even Lana, who had played with him since childhood, rarely invited him to play at home. Clark clasped Martha's hand. Mom, I met Dane during my travels. He helped me, and he is just like me. Martha quickly understood what Clark meant by saying the same, and she looked at Dane with curiosity in her eyes. Advertisement. Dane willingly satisfied her curiosity as he looked around. Then he stretched out his finger, and an electric arc pierced through the air and hit the charging port of the mobile phone on the table. Originally, only 12% of the power left was fully charged in an instant. Oh my God! Martha covered her mouth with her hands, looking shocked. What a simple person. Such a little trick has won her over. Dane laments the innocence of people nowadays, and in a few years, they will get used to this kind of thing. Clark had black lines on his face, but he knew that the lightning that struck him earlier was the same thing. Can it still be used to charge a phone? Wouldn't that be a little disrespectful? Martha felt more at ease, knowing that Dane was as special as her son. She was very happy, and said that Dane must stay and try her craft. Regardless of Clark's stop, he got on the pickup truck at the door and went to the supermarket to do some shopping. Okay, why are you in a hurry? That spaceship has been under the Arctic ice for 20,000 years, and it's not bad for a day or two. Hearing what he said, Clark calmed down his anxiety. But you have to say something before you go. The first time you put the key in, you'd better let the AI block the e signal of the spaceship first, so as to prevent Zod from knowing the news in advance. This is what it should mean, Clark nodded. He curiously said, What are you going to do after this? Keep it hidden? Clark didn't know that Dane's actual age was only 15 years old, and his physical age had been increased by the power of Shazam. He saw that Dane had a mature face and a sense of sophistication in his words and deeds. Plus, Dane said he was a god, thought he lived a long time. As for what Dane said earlier about becoming a god soon, he also automatically understood it as the long-lived species' vague sense of time. So he subconsciously thought that Dane had been hiding in human society, just like him. Dane nodded, then shook his head again. It's not yet time for me to go on stage, so I'll probably continue to hide, but I think there's something to do. Dane just figured out one thing. Since Zod's invasion of the Earth is a global disaster, why did he choose to fight Superman alone? Advertisement. No one stipulated that the Justice League had to wait until Steppenwolf came to form. He could have set up the platform first. But in terms of candidates, we have to choose carefully. First of all, Wonder Woman has to be brought in. Her combat power should not be underestimated. The most important thing is that Wonder Woman doesn't know the benevolence of women, and she is very quick to kill when it is time to kill. Then there is Batman, who is eight years older than Superman, and fold in Quinn's a small. At the moment, should be the prime of life. But this guy is suspicious by nature, so I'm afraid it won't be easy to invite him. Aquaman Arthur Curry, if he remembers correctly, at the moment Aquaman is only 19 years old, younger than Clark. Although Zod only arrived in 2013, to be honest, Arthur's ability is probably only a trick in the matter of Zod to be determined. The Flash, Barry Allen, is too young now, and his ability will not be acquired until 2013, and he has not even had time to adapt to push the human child into the battlefield. Even Dane can't do it. It's still to be determined. Cyborg Victor Stone, the situation is similar to The Flash, to be determined first. Martian Manhunter, this Martian is a bit confused, 
You can try to invite him. Anyway, he won't lose his meat. Green Lantern Hal Jordan, well, although the DCEU has kicked him out of this circle, considering that this is the real world, Dane has to consider the possibility of playing with Green Lantern. As long as more than three Green Lantern Corps are not allowed to get together, they are quite reliable. And if Green Lantern does appear, then it is said that he is facing the first global disaster in the true sense of the Earth. Finally, there is Superman. Dane doesn't even need to ask. If Clark is still the person he remembers, he will definitely say yes. So Dane didn't play those empty heads. He directly invited Superman. Clark, there are actually many people like us in the world. I thought about whether it is possible to gather them all, and when faced with some major disasters that cannot be solved by individual strength, they can unite and cooperate to solve problems together. That's a great idea. Clark immediately agreed, and the first thing he thought of was Zod's question. After hearing Dane's explanation, he knew that Zod had a group of elite Kryptonians. Even if he and Dane could solve the problem in the end, how many innocent civilians would die? So would you like to join? Dane asked. What are you talking about? I definitely want to be the first to join. Okay, first member gets it done. Do you have any other options? Advertisement ad. Yes, but it will be a bit troublesome to find out, and they may not agree. Clark nodded understandingly. He knew very well that not everyone is willing to use their own strength to do good things. Dane told him about the general situation of several members of the Justice League in the future, and Clark fell into thinking after listening. L. Let's forget Barry Allen and Victor Stone first. They are still children, and having super abilities is not necessarily a good thing for them. Clark definitely has a say on this point, knowing that in order to conceal his ability, his adoptive father Jonathan didn't even let him save himself. Dane nodded understandingly. I think so too, so I think the first target should be on Diana. As the world's first superhero, she should understand our philosophy. Diana has been active in human society since World War I, and doing chivalry is a daily routine. She even participated in World War II and is a veritable war hero. She should be the earliest superhero on Earth. But after entering the new millennium, Wonder Woman activities became less. In addition, she is low-key, so she is quickly forgotten. Clark heard Dane say something about Diana, and he agreed to invite the lady. Gotham's Batman, I think I've heard of this guy. Clark has traveled all over the world during this time. Although he hasn't been to Gotham yet, he has heard some rumors. Before meeting Dane, he originally planned to find time to visit Gotham. After all, Batman's deeds sound very Superman-like. He can wait on his side first. Batman is suspicious by nature. If you come to the door so blatantly, I'm afraid he will be planning what to do with you the next day. Dane shook his head, pressing Clark's urge to move. While the two were discussing the organizational structure of the future Justice League, Martha came back from shopping. Dane and Clark stopped the conversation just in time and got up to help Martha. Martha originally planned to let Dane, the guest, sit, but he and Clark are men with super speed, and the work of washing and picking vegetables is done in the blink of an eye, so she doesn't say anything. But Martha's impression of Dane has changed for the better. The three chatted for a while after drinking and eating. Dane tried his best to avoid revealing his real information, and it was necessary to be safe. Finally, Dane slept in the guest room.